Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to upload a file uh, in JMeter. Uh, so yeah, I have created a simple web, web application so which will accept to, which will allow us to upload a file and then we'll try the same thing in the JMeter. So this is a uh, simple UI for the uploading a file. So I'm opening the uh, browsing and I'm uploading a file here and it will save the content into this upload folder. So currently nothing is here. So once you submit this, it has uploaded a version dot file. Uh, if you see that the file has uploaded to your hard disk. Okay. Now we need to uh, implement the same implementation in JMeter. So if you go to the JMeter, before coming to that, uh, so just go to the refresher page, or the open developer tools, and uh, go to the network tab just try to repeat the same thing once again so to capture the values uh, in network traffic so submit this so this is the request string upload upload so this is asking me for upload and upload is a url so here i created a simple http sampler and i have added the same path local host server protocol port number and the method is post as similar to the browser it's a post method so sometimes in browser uh, it will not it will not show you the request parameters so here also the same scenario it will not show in the post parameters for this in this case you need to use uh fiddler or any other browser to show the network traffic network traffic so if you see this uh if you go to the network uh, sorry request header so you will be seeing the multi part and form data and this is the this the value web, web kit for boundary is a value which allow you to upload a file so in jmeter also we need to create the same kind same kind of uh, web kit boundary so which will take access and then will uh, upload your file to a server okay so you need to use the same type of headers and this key has to be generated by dynamically by jmeter so it will be different for each time when you upload your file so uh, the content use the request address if there is any mandatory request address required for your, by your server. So uh, I have we uh, have the application what I designed so which doesn't require any required address. So there's no need, no mandatory address. So for that I have not added any headers here. So after that go to the files upload here. In the files upload you need to give the val uh, file from where you want to upload uh, including the extension of the file. And the, the file here, if you see the parameter name is a file. So, unfortunately, the Chrome browser is not showing the uh, parameters, post, post body parameters. So, if you go to the network uh, developer tools uh, or Fiddler, it will show you the uh, parameter name. So, use the same parameter name what you're using here and select the option called use multi part and form data here. Okay. So, that's the main, main thing. And uh, here, you know, at last you need to give your uh, image type uh, i mean uh, image type or uh, content type so if you take an example if you click on this and go to the properties and if you can see it's a dot log so you can give it a text document a type for file text document so you can give uh, a text by plane text by plane here so in jmeter you can give it a text by plane here so that's a content type. So for, for image, image, PNG or image by JPG, image by, uh, so GIF also what different kinds of uh, images, data type. So we can mention a specific data type and uh, give, com browse the complete path and give the file name, including the extension. So if you see that, if you see that, so uh, there are PNG, here it is not allowing us to uh, see complete name. So if you click on this, so it should be the PNG. If you, I'm copying this and create this, it's a complete path including image and as an including file name and including extension. Okay, so yeah, once I'm done this, I'm replaying it. So it has successfully uploaded. You will be seeing the same message of successfully uploaded. If you go to the request address here, it will create a boundary here. So this is your content. And the file name post body parameters. Hope this helps you, friends. Thanks for reading this.